and we are going to start by laying in a quick wash of the sky and the foreground. I'm going to be using that giant number 26 Goliath brush to start with. And I'm just adding a little paint to my palette so that I have that all ready. Color for the sky is ultramarine, but then I'm also adding a more of a cobalt blue to cool it down a little bit. And then for the foreground, I'm going to grab a warm color. And it can be a little dirty. I'm not too worried about that at this point. It's going to be pretty light. All right. And I start by laying in some of that sky wash. And it is completely okay if the blue gets into the trees a little bit because they're going to be darker than the background. However, I would like to keep those tree trunks a little bit out of the way. So, and I'm going to work around this cloud shape because we'll do that in the second pass. Or at least later in this first first wash and as we get closer to the bottom of the sky we'll add a little bit of a warmer color in there and it might look a little green at first but that's okay because it's going to dry down and what I'm going to do for the clouds is simply come in with a clean brush and let it run down and Then we'll pick up the blue again below the clouds, just below the clouds, into the dark area, just like that. Trying to work around the stems of the trees or the trunks. This is really going to be loose and not too fancy at this point again this will dry down much lighter than what you're seeing and it's also in pretty good shape put a little bit of warm color down here and then just pick up a brush full of water and let it sway on down activate that this tree is going to be dark so that's okay get a little sky in there okay down here I'm just picking up some warm tone and running it basically at the bottom of the page Just soften up the edges at the top of the clouds. They're always lighter than the bottom of the clouds. So what I can do is pick up some of that blue. And bring it in underneath. And while it's still wet, Really just let it run down. And I'll 
got some of the warmer blue back up into the top while it's still wet. You don't have to be too fussy about this, especially when the paper is up at an angle. It really will do a lot of the work for you without you having to do too much of it. And this trunk will end up being darker, but I'm going to pull it out now just to be safe. And we can just simply wet this area and wet this area and let it run. If it runs too much, just grab it with your brush. We're in pretty good shape there. Realistically, that's probably all we're gonna do. Make a nice little gray color and just run it into the bottom of the cloud. It's a little bit on the warm side. That's really okay. And if you have any big dots of color, just pick them up. Run your brush down at the bottom. green into here. Just run it behind the, the tree trunks just because we're going to need it later. And it's nice and wet so it'll it'll run and do all the work for you. And if you want to don't be afraid to just grab some of that same color and just grab the bottom because what we're doing is we are making a diagonal shape you can see the Z form in here that will help cement our tree trunks into the background To there. Clean it up when you get into the warm spots. Since the paper is tilted, it's going to do a lot of the work. And you want that loose free feeling. Don't be afraid of that. It's really okay. All right. Here is where we're going to stop for stage one tomorrow. I will start to add in the trees and do the lighter lighter color in the front and across all of them and then darken the further ones away with a smaller brush. And once we have the trees in, 